We got to stand on business about this shit because at the end of the day, bro, it's like, I did records for all these people, but I still feel like it's still not, it's still not, like, known, bro. It still got to be understood. Like, all right, yeah, we want to get you, we want to get a record, like, we going to call this person, we just call them, call me. Mm. Y'all ain't calling me for that. I still get this shit out the mud, bro. Everything I did in my career, I did this shit with no manager. I did this shit with no help. I've been doing this shit since I was 13, 14 years old with no help. I did everything by myself. You know what I'm saying? I always got that shit out the mud. So that's why it's like, that's why I work with a chip on my shoulder, bro. That's why I, that's why by the time this come out, that's why I say the Pee Wee Long Way, who am I take that they listening to is completely produced and engineered and recorded and mixed in the whole nine by Kino because I actually put in work, bro. And you deserve so it. So just give me my just do. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Let's get it popping, man. Kino yeah. Beast is in the building. Yeah, what's what up, brother? On, brother? Virginia VA is here. Yeah, North of Virginia, 757. We yeah, 757 straight out the water. Yeah. 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 What's something, good, though? Something in the water. Yeah, it's something in the water. For it's sure. something It's something in that motherfucker, for real. Gotta know that. Yeah, you just messed up my whole intro, man. How are oh, you supposed to talk? No, 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 no. You good. You good. I was going to start off with, I was going to go straight to the tape, but we got to go there. We talking about 757. Facts, facts, facts. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot that come out VA. Mm -hmm. You still sleep? You think so or no? Nah, no. No way. I think the industry know what's going on. Okay, that makes But I think sense. the world still sleep. You know what I mean? Like, they still got to kind of catch up to what we really got going on. That makes sense. I kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I how, you, just, how you feel? Because I'm looking from the inside looking out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm in Virginia and I know what my homies is telling me when I'm at I, the crib and they like, bro, they ain't really fucking with us like they supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I get in the rooms and I'm like, yeah, now nah, I'm from Virginia. They like, oh, shit. Nah, everybody come out of Virginia hard. Right. You see what I'm saying? So nah, they, they know what's going on, but I uh, don't know. It's am, I, like, am, am I an industry now? <laughs> it might be an industry because damn, like, because now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, bro. Like, I was, I was talking to my friends and I was like, okay, you know, we always talk about Atlanta and New York. Mm -hmm. And if we talking the verses, mm. I will put Virginia in there against either one. Against either one, I, I, if we doing a versus, I think Virginia can. All right, so this this where it get tricky at now. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about artists or are we talking about producers? Not, that don't matter when we doing verses. It you can do. go either way. It do because when you we seen producer verses and they still play the artist that's on that song. You know what right. I'm saying? Like you just showed me a single. Yeah, facts. Uh, somebody could be like Pee Wee Longway. You know what I'm saying? Like, but facts. it's still Kino Beast. Yeah, facts. So it's like facts. we doing a verses. Period. I'm talking about just the music, the coming music, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, facts. And you, you, I mean, Pharrell got his fingerprint all on Jay Z. Pause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. That was crazy, but yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was wild. But yeah, uh, for, I gotta reset. Pharrell got his his his, his fingerprint. All over that, right? Now look. So on the real, how I look at it, bro, is like. As a producer, it don't matter where you come from. Like, you producing the music, but a lot of the main folks that just, like, tap into music, they're not going to just look and see, like, oh, I love this song. Who made the beat? Nah, they're just going to say, who loved it? I love this song. Who's this song for? You know what I'm saying? Who this for? So they're going to listen to the song, and they're going to peep that. So that's why it's kind of lopsided. That's the only thing. Like, I feel like Virginia really run the whole world with this shit, with the music shit, because we bring the producers from... That did everything for everybody, mm -hmm. but we just lack in bringing the artists to the for the, uh, the forefront. Not to say that the artists ain't there, because the talent is definitely in Virginia. But until they see more artists, they're not gonna know. Because I ask people a real question, I'm like, yeah. So what artists you fuck with from Virginia? They're like, oh yeah, y'all got Pusha T, y'all got the clips. 
And then I'm like, I who else? I like. I mean, but maybe you got, I don't feel no, 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 maybe you got I don't young, count. You got, you got young, young Chris. You got young, young Chris. You got young crazy, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? But we need we need that. For example, look at Memphis scene. If I ask you like who you with from Memphis, you gonna tell me black youngster, money bag, yo, Glorilla, yo, guy. You gonna you get you know what I mean? You got an endless list of names, and then when I ask you who you with from Virginia, you gonna name some shit, and people are not really all the way hip, right? And then you from B more, right? Yeah. So. Of but it's, I feel like you it's know the same, certain it's, things. It's the same way in Baltimore, though. Facts. I, I wouldn't see you getting into all uh, the intricacies, inc- yeah, 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 inc- yeah, yeah. intricacies, or whatever the f- yeah, word that is. part. And, and what say it? Intricacies. intricacies. Thank you, Kyron. We get into into the all the uh, and the mechanism and intricacies Facts. of this. But I just feel like that's just the culture at the time, right? Facts, Facts, Facts. As of right now, mm-hmm. y'all might not have any worldwide f- phenomenon names coming out of Virginia. Mm-hmm. I think that's a separate conversation of what we're saying as far as producing artists, right? Mm-hmm. So we talking about producing artists and people not knowing your name. That's your fault. Because think about it. We see people, it ain't like it haven't been done. We see producers who are great at marketing themselves. ATL Jacob, um, Zaytoven, uh, and the Zaytoven was a while ago, but um, less recently, uh, he wasn't the best at marketing himself, but he he got with an artist that was booming. Um, the dude that with ESTG, uh, Forever Rolling. Forever Rolling, yeah. Um, but he's probably a bad example for what I'm trying to say. But we have producers who who put their face out in the limelight. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah, it's, most of them know, so I get it. But I feel like if you were more in the open or in the limelight, people wouldn't know who you are, maybe. But I might be looking at it wrong. Because you probably yeah. try to be. Yeah, exactly, bro. I feel like it ain't that simple. Like, I've, I always thought that I got the remedy for it, but it ain't up to me to really decide. I really feel like the whole remedy for Virginia scene is for us to have some type of sport team. And when I say it, it's kind of like, oh, like, what do you really mean by that? I look at it like this, bro. If we got an NBA team and you got a night where – LeBron James is coming to town with the L.A. Lakers, then the big money from D.C., he's going to take that three-hour drive to come down there. The big money from Raleigh, North Carolina, Greensboro, they're going to drive up. They're going to start seeing like, oh, damn, bro, I ain't never had no reason to come to Virginia before. But now I'm out here because I came out here to watch the I came out here to watch the Lakers play or I came out here to watch Damian Lillard or whoever the fuck. I don't even watch basketball like that, but whoever the so you come out here to watch these different teams, and when you come out there to watch different teams, you're like, hold on, this little area is lit. Let me got let me invest some of my millions into this, into a club out here, cause this is lit. And now you got like a bigger, a bigger um, what's the word? A platform for the area. So that's why I feel like the only thing is missing from the actual Virginia scene is the platform. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, for sure. But bro, Pharrell came there and dropped something in the water. I mean, and it was that- beautiful and it turned it up. But you can't put everything, and that's the problem. I hate when people do that. You can't put everything on one man. He's one man, cool. bro. So I wasn't even expecting this. I could have did some more. Why well, we had to start like nah, that, this bro? Great, you, though. This is you great. You start straight to that. No, nah, because like, we talk, talking about Virginia, so yeah, we got facts, you. Facts, and the facts. history is there. Like People yeah. need to know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only reason you can't go there with me, because mm-hmm. I'm from Baltimore. Facts. You can't go there with me. Like if I, was, if I was from New York or Atlanta right, 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 or right. Chicago, all right, cool. But I'm from Baltimore, so you can't go there with me. We got the right. football team. We got Lamar Jackson. We got we got. Uh, uh, Odell Beckham, you know what I'm saying? We got the sports team. Mm. Still, and you, ain't got the, and you got the avenue. Yeah, <laughs> and still ain't stopping past Baltimore. They're going straight to DC because that's just the history in the in, in the culture. That's true. What I would say is, for nigga, how long you been doing this? My whole life, bro. For niggas like us, right? Mm-hmm. We just got to keep going because people see you, right? Right. right but right. you don't have who who, 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 who did you tag? Um, I got. I got a bunch of tags. Well, yeah, 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 you 24, tag. 24 hours. I got one with my niece. I got one with Long Way doing it. The one that's the one that you use all the time. The I one think it's one with your niece. Yeah, the one with my niece. You yeah. one with your niece. Right, right, right. We love your niece. Respectful, right? Right, right, right. But you see the the, the producers that's coming out, mm-hmm. they attached them to an artist, and now we can't get their faces out of our brains. Right, right, right. right? So yeah, like it hit a little different. I don't think it's Virginia per se. Mm-hmm. It's just you gotta keep working. Yeah. Right. Think about it like me. Like, I came to Atlanta. Hold on. I got to cut you. Go ahead. I got to cut you. Go ahead. Just what you're saying right now, it's a little different. The first thing that popped in my head is like a Metro Boomin' and salute to him. Mm-hmm. Like Metro Boomin' from St. Louis. 
And he came to Atlanta and got his motion going in Atlanta. But just like you asked about tags, when Metro Boomin started popping off with his tag, his tag was done by Future. Mm. So when I hear Future voice on a record, I'm going to automatically tune in. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But that's kind of what I'm saying. Right. Future don't live in Virginia. No, I'm saying you got to keep working to get that big tag. That's one of my arguments. Out of another state. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, you got to... It's a pole mm -hmm. point. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I come to Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. I get lit. I say... uh, Not, let's say... When I get super lit, mm -hmm. I could go back to Baltimore mm -hmm. and everybody be like, I got to go with Jay Hill. Facts. No matter what, let's say if Metro Boomer would have went back to uh, St. Louis mm -hmm. or wherever you're from, people were like, I need Metro Boomer, so they're going to go where he at. Okay. That's how I'm looking at it. So let me ask you this. So do you think, and using Metro, and all respect to Metro, right? Mm -hmm. Using him as an example, do you think if he spent a, a year in Atlanta and got his stripes up like he did and mm -hmm. started producing for everybody in Atlanta, do you think that if he left the Atlanta music scene and went back to St. Louis and started working with nothing but St. Louis artists, do you think that St. Louis would be the music scene right now? I mean, that, I, answer that honestly now. That's a, no, I don't think so. And that's a part and of that's, the reason. And that's, my, that's, that's really the point. You feel for what I'm saying? Sure. A part of the reason is it works because you're in the vicinity, right? Of where, of the, the, where music is exact, moving. Same for me. Right, I'm right, here, right. Mm -hmm. so I'm able to get even the BC level artists that I wouldn't be able to get in Baltimore, right? Right. That's cool. Right, right, right. I agree with that. I'm saying once you get to a certain level of celebrity, mm -hmm. right? ATL Jacob, mm -hmm. Metro Boomin. I'm a, right now, maybe not a year into it, but he could move wherever he want. Not and facts. people will come. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's facts, what I'm facts, thinking, right? Facts. That's that's what I'm saying. That's not right. a year, and I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to go back to Virginia, like just hometown in, in general, mm -hmm. we all don't. Our history is a long time ago. Yeah. And I think we kind of, um, I think we kind of slick saying the same thing because that was literally my mindset when I moved to, um, to Atlanta. My mindset was like, it was a point where in Virginia, I feel like I did everything I could do in Virginia. Like I was, uh, I had a studio downtown Norfolk where any artist that was an artist in Virginia came to my studio. And that stretched from Norfolk to Richmond to DC to Baltimore. Everybody came down. Like everybody that has any type of name have been through my studio doors. You get what I'm saying? So once I realized, I'm like, yo, I really reached the peak of this. Like anybody I see in this vicinity, I'm like, damn, I want to work with them. I either went up there and f with them or they came down there f with me. So I'm like, all right, I got to make this a little bigger. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I came down to Atlanta and I've been working my set in Atlanta. So the ultimate goal of everything that I was doing or what I'm currently doing is creating a real hub in Atlanta so that when I go back to Virginia and I collect, yo, hey, bro, hop on this, do this. I could connect you with where the game is moving right now mm -hmm. and make it bigger than life. And I feel like people from our hometowns, like just speaking of both synonymously, I feel like people don't understand the, the move, right? Right, but right. For the that's in that's in the trenches still, mm -hmm. you can't put on your city in your city. Right, right, right. Like, think about it. Who am I putting my city on with? You? You already know about it. Exactly. The only way you can put on for your city. It's outside of your city, outside of your home. Right. Because those are the people who are not familiar. Right. When I go other places, then I could be like, nah, I'm from Baltimore. Oh, you from Baltimore? I ain't never know nothing was in there but a crab cake and some uh, you know, some chicken Blue wings. Crabs. But nah, Facts. it's me. Same. Yeah, yeah. Yo, last time I heard of Virginia was for real and... I don't know, Michael Vick. Nah, yeah, facts. it's me. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But a lot of people, they think you, they want to put you in a box and have you stay there. And and But, bro, it's nothing I can do. Like you said, I outgrew everything I was that was here for me. Right. And I feel like them, those are the two steps, though. I feel like the very first step is before you even pop out, hone your shit. Mm. Like, really make your shit known. Because you can't tell me you from this place and I come to your city and I'm like, hey, bro. So I met so and so. He told me he was the man out here. They like, like who? who? Facts. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, like, facts. nah. Hone your shit. So when I come to your city, they tell me like, oh you, oh you met. Some oh he that nigga out here. Respect. So once you that nigga from where you from, and you in a small town in a small area, then you move your shit out, and then always come back and show love and do what you can do for that town. But you know what I mean. Make your shit bigger I than life. I want to play devil's advocate real quick. Come on. I don't know if I should do this because anybody know me know I love my city. I f with your city too. Right, nah, facts. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but what I will say is, 
be a lot of cheating going on too. Yeah. So even if you ain't the man in your city, the moment you come become the man somewhere else, you become the man in your city. Because yeah, now yeah, everybody facts. know you. They like, facts. no, yo, that man, you man, suck my. I'm so, uh, my bad. Nah, nah, nah you right I get though. Passionate, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, you right though. Because that's why I tell some of my homies from the crib too, though. I be I, I tell them because they'll hit me and we'll have real conversations and that'll be the whole thing. Like, bro, I don't really see my shit progressing. And I'm like, bro, at the end of the day, once folks see you doing your shit out of town, they gonna be on your dick like, what the f you know what I mean? Mm. So they gonna they're gonna eat it up regardless. And it just it just is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, when you look at it, bro, when you break it down, especially when we talk about hip hop, it's only a small percentage. It's only a small amount of cities that's really major cities of hip hop. You're talking about L.A., you're talking about New York, you're talking about Atlanta, you're talking about Miami, and maybe Chicago. But mm -hmm. even the Chicago niggas, if you look at all the Chicago niggas, they're outsourcing to L.A. and Atlanta. Mm. So are they fake for doing that? You know what I'm saying? They're bringing awareness to their home city by... Outreaching, if they they know that if I if I stay in Chicago, maybe they're not gonna catch the wave like that. So I know that I'm doing my shit in Chicago. I done been in all this little street shit or whatever the f with these in Chicago. I'm gonna bump out to Atlanta real quick and start my campaign in there. And I'm gonna tell them where I'm from. Mm. And they hone they shit on phone them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and they go out to LA and they do the same shit and say, yeah, now I'm from Chicago, but this is what we got going on. They hone they. Shit. So I think that's all what it is, bro. It's like knowing where you really come from and telling people like, yo, this is my city. This is who I am. And let me tell you about my city. But I'm in this new city to kind of just expand my brand. And it shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. Because when you sign up to be an artist, a producer, a video editor, whatever the fuck you sign up to, to do, you're a business. Mm -hmm. And as a business, you have to expand your business. Mm. You can't keep your business in the same city that you're from every bit like imagine the owner of apple like nah bro now i'm from san francisco i'm not building no apple plant in mm -hmm. my nah, i'm not building an apple plant in los no he like nigga build that shit where we gotta build where we gotta build we build that shit all over because mm -hmm. i'm running the business and i need my business to be bigger than life Facts. so you as an artist or you as a creative you want your business to be as big as possible. And we just talking about the 50 states. We're yeah. not even talking about international. Talk to them. So it's just life, bro. Nah, facts. Yo, talk to me about, um, we, we open the show up with this a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're a producer, right? So it's so easy to get to get caught in those shadows or not caught at all for, uh, for better interpretation, right? Does that ever frustrate you when it's like, bro, nah, bro, I want niggas to know me, but they still don't know you. I think yeah. I think I seen um Go ahead, my bad. I ain't gonna say it. I forgot the name. Nah, nah, you're right though. That's that that part of it I don't really trip about because that's why I signed up to be a producer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like even like sitting here and doing an interview or like popping out front street, it's just like I feel like the day and age we in, people wanna see you and people wanna know who you is, but I signed up to be a producer because I like being in the studio. I like working on music. I love music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about being famous. I don't want you. I could care less if you knew me. You know what I'm saying? But the day and age we in, we want to see who's the man behind this so that we can, I right, oh, oh, yeah, nah, nah, I fuck with, bruh. And I don't mind. I don't mind showing personality, showing who I am and shit and doing that. But it's like. I don't over trip on shit like that, you know. Who would you say is your favorite producer? Just curious, picking your brain. Ooh. Um, nah, I can't. You can't give me one and if or it got to be one. Nah, cause it got to be five, nah, bro. Give me one, nah. It got to be five. Mm -mm. If I if I was just to say one, I hold down the whole team. I say Pharrell, and I say Pharrell just because of the fact that, like I said, I don't just look at things like I'm a deep in the music type of person. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's like. One, it's one thing to do great music, but it's also a thing to impact your area, impact where you're from, and do bigger things in life. So for you to do amazing music for years and years, and then to, like, the shit is not even publicized. Like, Something in the Water is amazing. But even aside from Something in the, um, something in the Water, uh, to go and Louis, open Louis up um, the Louis Vuitton situation, to come to Virginia Beach and... 
is um what they call uh or what's the uh YMCA shit? Recreational centers. You got rec centers in Virginia Beach and you know what I mean, really impact the area from the outside in. And then for you to hone artists that you like, yo, now nah, these are my homeboys and they rap and I fuck with them. Mm. And put them on. The and clips. now you have the clips doing their thing. And then it's a several others. And then before everybody started doing that, taking a making an album as a producer and mm. saying, nah, this is my album. And I'm about to get all my niggas that I fuck with and I'm about to put them on this CD on my beats and make y'all eat it up. Neptune's the clones. All right, so cool. I'm going to make it easier then. Give me a five then. Let me see. So I'm going to... Pharrell. I'm going to do Pharrell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it Virginia. I'm going to do Timberland. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do um, Heat Makers, because that's why I really grew up on the Dipset shit. That's all the Dipset beats. So we're going to do Heat Makers. You just fucked um, me up. <sighs> Damn, you just fucked I'm going to be... I'd be wrong if I ain't include my bro in this shit. So I gotta say my nigga Lex, Lex Luger. Lex Luger. Gotta he say from, he from he the from DMV. he from Suff No, he no, he's from Virginia. Okay, we not gonna do that today. No, 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 we not doing. I'm D with you. We no, not I'm with doing you. DMV no, versus hey, Virginia. I'm with we you. Not no, doing I'm, that. I'm from Baltimore. I keep telling oh, yeah, you, so, bro, you're like, not you, even DMV. No, I'm. Look, you don't gotta worry about me, bro. I'm with you. I'm no. with you. So I'm Lex gonna put, Luger. I'm gonna put Lex Luger in there. And then, um, for oh, yeah, I'm tripping Kanye West. Cool, all right. So, out of the five, mm -hmm. two didn't do this. All right, I think the one thing that make those producers stand out mm -hmm. is getting in front of the camera and putting their voice on the song outside of outside of the uh. The damn, what is it called? Nah. What is this shit called, bro? We just had to talk about it. Just being behind the scenes? Nah, the damn shit. What that play? What the thing about? that, that's your, that's your, 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 your uh, niece on. What is it oh, called? Oh, the tag. The tag. Yeah, so Facts. outside of the tag, mm -hmm. Kanye West, Timberland, Pharrell, all three of them was and on the song. I ain't gonna lie. And on God in Heaven, like me and, me and my brother Traumatone just had this same conversation. I was telling him this, like, it's, it's kind of fucked up because, like, when. When you look at the list of the super producers in the game, like when people just generalize, like they say, oh, yeah, these are the super producers and they name the Timberlands and the Pharrells. And then some people will put like Swiss beats in there and some people, all these different people, all these different people that they name, bro. When they name these different people, the the common, can you say commonality, the common fucking ground of all this shit is the fact that these are people that have... They they're making songs. They're on the song. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's that's what always kind of fucked me up as a producer because I'm like, I don't even like hearing my voice on, on no song and no shit like that, you know? But I feel like that's really what takes them to the next level, you know, when they get on the hook and they do their thing, you know? But talk to me. Mike Will made it. I ain't never heard Mike Will made it get on no song. But you ain't I ain't never heard ain't, ain't I ain't look, Mike I ain't Will heard, made it though. I ain't never heard Metro Booming get on no song. You ain't named Mike Will made it. You ain't named Metro Booming. That's true. So I said, out of that's the true. five, that's true, that's true, that's true. Mike Will made it. He's that's cool, true. but true. he ain't Kanye. That's true. He ain't Pharrell. That's true. He ain't Timberland. Metro Boomin is good. That's true. He ain't Pharrell. I get he that. He ain't Timberland. You I know what I'm saying? I get that. I get that. He ain't Kanye. I get that. But what I will say is, can, can, hey, can you give me a time? Where we at? Uh, tell uh Dylan to cut this out. What's up with all these um producers trying to do music separately though? Is that shade? Specifically on one person, for sure. Tell me the shade. I personally do not like it. They're not going to get that in public, though. So All you don't right. have nothing to worry about. All right, yeah. yeah. I, you don't have nothing to worry about. I reserve my right to comment. <laughs> yeah, you don't have nothing to worry about. They're not going to That's not gonna. They not gonna hear that part. Yeah. Just, just I don't like, know. I don't know what bro's doing, bro. I, like, I just feel like... People are good. He in his hip hop bag though. But what I will but say is not. But it's not like you like super spitting bars or nothing. Like you just rapping and it's like I don't know. Let me let me play devil's advocate against myself though. Mm -hmm. Kanye West went through the same thing. Yeah, niggas was acting like they ain't really fucked. So with it, I could be wrong. He could. I might have to leave that in just so it might turn. It might flip and turn on me, and I will have to apologize. I'm okay with that. Right, but right, right now, I'm just man. Fuck it, Stan. Hey man, we stand on business. I, I just feel like I don't know. Like even, damn, shit. We can cut this one out too. Even um, 
And I shouldn't say this because I'm about to do the interview. I though. feel like you finna say what I think you finna um, say, but I I, I got to retort to it. But you go know ahead. what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You finna talk about my bro, man. What's his name? I'm I don't out. know if you about to say. Yeah. Yeah. We can yeah. cut that out too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I ain't going to lie. All right. So, but he plugged or some might be well even well what's his name plugged when it comes when it comes when it comes and his music can you stop you making me I'm gonna have a, a lot of cutouts I, I make, know make right? it easy for me <laughs> like don't keep saying the name <laughs> when it kind of when it comes to some of these artists on their music when it comes to some of the producers that start to do music bro I feel like it's just like it's literally like last night bro last night me and bro in the studio and. We doing reference songs. We cutting reference songs. I'm just testing the mic. I throw the auto tune on and I throw the headphones on and I'm just like, yo, yo. And then my shit start getting wavy in the mic. And I'm like, hold on. I sound <laughs> kind of fire. And I start goddamn doing my shit. And I start doing a whole little song on this shit. And I'm like, oh, this shit too easy. So especially when you when you a producer, bro, when you in the studio and you recording these niggas or you working on a song, bro, you just be feeling like, bro, like, you be hearing the shit in your head, bro, and the rap nigga just being there, like, uh, 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 ah, fuck, I can't get it. You like, nigga, all you got to say is, you that's know what I mean? That's a good perspective. And it, yeah, and it kind of fuck your head up because you like, bro, all you got to do is say this. That's a good perspective. You got, all you got to use is, you come up there and you rapping regular, all you got to do is flip. You ain't even going to switch your bars up. You're going to say the same shit. So a producer, hear it. A, producer, a real producer going to know where the shit supposed to go. Mm. So producers, in all actualities, producer really makes the best music. Mm. And that's what makes somebody like Kanye the GOAT. And I'm mad that I put him like fifth on my list because Kanye is like a real GOAT because he's one to be like, I think I got bars. He's arrogant, so he probably say, I know I got bars, but I'm in a space where I feel like maybe my shit could be harder. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the beat together, and I'm going to call all these niggas that I respect for having bars, and I'm going to let y'all all give bars to me. And mm. once I got the bars, I'm going to put them together and pick the best bars. Damn, I should have. So I had I did this interview with somebody named um, On Point, like OP, right? From, from New, New York, York. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah I fuck with bro so I watched um one of his interviews in New York and he was telling the girl bro I don't keep like my friends help me with facts with, with words I don't, bro, I don't you knew the, if you knew the real bro these niggas are getting the so, that's why when niggas be talking about writers bro these niggas be getting in the booth and these niggas have no idea so, what so, to say so listen so he like I don't really care like bro I don't care if facts. help me whatever the can be right facts that made me think Kanye if, if Kanye don't care right and he got all these writers, mm -hmm. and that's the pinnacle of producer, even artists. Right, facts. Why y'all niggas getting lost up in, uh, if you don't come from, like he said, he said that he made this point. He's like, well, I don't come from the Meek Mill era. Right. If, all right, cool. If you come from that battle rap era, I understand it. But right. even still, it's stupid because it's like, you're you putting yourself in a box to a height that you you only going, you facts. giving yourself a ceiling. Facts. Right? Why not collaborate with other people? Bro, all that shit, at the end of the day, bro, and I literally was talking to my brother about the shit earlier, bro. At the end of the day, all this shit is smoke and mirrors, bro. 100%. Because if you make it to that level and you're an artist, artist, and you're signed to a major deal and you have a major situation, you're going to have A&Rs. Mm. And the A&Rs are going to shop different songs to you. So even you, I don't know if you're a rapper or not, Jay Hill. Mm. Do you rap? Mm. Do you make songs? No way. But you're black. And being that you black, <laughs> what you know, fuck? being that you black. It's got real racist <laughs> real fast. Like, God damn. I feel like every nigga, every black. Oh, God human, damn. Every, <laughs> God damn. Oh, I feel like everybody black know how to put some words together when it comes time for it, right? So my whole point with saying this is the fact that a lot of these guys, bro, a lot of these guys, even if they, yeah, nobody write for me, whoop de whoop de whoop. They're going to have the A&R that's going to play them songs with hooks. Mm -hmm. And if I come to the studio and I play you a beat, you're going to say, oh, yeah, this beat hard. Damn, this shit hard as fuck. I don't know what I'm going to say. But if the beat come in and the beat have the hook and the hook is, I get money every day. I get money every day. It's easier for you, even somebody that doesn't rap, to be like, boom, as soon as the hook go off, 
I get money every day. I'm Jay Hill. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And now I would you... never say that, but okay. I'm just letting you know. If <laughs> I rap, it, bro, it's just the, I would never it's say just that. The, it's just the essence of the, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got to whoop the whoop. You know I, would never, I would never say that. It's <laughs> like, said, if I was a rapper, I'm just, I would you, never so follow a, money every day with nah, I'm but Jay it, Hill. You'll pass on that record, but it'll be yeah, another one that might yeah. catch you, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Um, What you niggas order? Food? Oh, you really got the Popeyes. Nigga really... First of all, nigga... He he told me ten dollars for a fucking glass, a shot. That nigga, bro, my nigga, my nigga really had a whole conversation with me. Like, yeah, bro, man, you doing your thing, man. You been in that gym, but you got you got to take off that weight, bro. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm trying to trim down a little bit. And then my nigga said, yeah, you want bro. Popeyes? He said, <laughs> on God in heaven, bro, I can't make this shit up, bro. The nigga said, hey, bro, you need to cut that. Hey, Kino, you be in that studio, bro. You need to cut that weight. But shit. I'm about to order this Popeyes to the shit. What you want? <laughs> I can't make this shit up, bro. This shit is facts, bro. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Bro, it's I really Popeyes, ain't telling me I was bro. ordering Popeyes. Oh, no, God. He sent that shit, bro. And he got a chicken for every nigga in this room. Man, he got a chicken, chicken. for every nigga. Hey, we going to eat fact, chicken on this fact, shit. Come fact. on, now. Yo, so you, um, you, what made you get into the, uh, the, is this your first project you doing? Like, Art, what, like an artist? Nah, I no? just, um... So 2021, I did um, I did matching Rolexes. Matching Rolexes was me and Currency. Ooh. So I did a full a full project with Currency. Um, me and my dog Traumatone, we went down to uh, New Orleans. We did um, we did matching Rolexes with Currency. We did highest in charge with Currency. We did Welcome to Jet Life Two with Currency. I engineered all of them. We literally I recorded like 50, 60 songs with Currency in like seven days. So we did that project. Then, um, but was that your what? Because this is your take that's coming out. Yeah. Um. So the difference is, um, matching Rolexes was a currency and Kino Beats project. Okay. Welcome to Jet Life was a currency project, and Highest in Charge was a currency and Traumatone project. Okay. Okay. Um. All those projects I engineered the whole project and mixed and mastered Pass the whole the project. Wings, man. So, so you got yeah, the, the project with you and Currency. Mm-hmm. Matching Rolexes. Matching Rolexes. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Don't be selfish, man. Facts. Yeah. Pass them. Pass them. Pass them. You know what I'm saying? Them gone. Facts. No cap. What you got, bro? I'm going to do tender. Oh, I knew you was going to grab it. Oh, this a whole wing. I ain't trying to bust that. Yeah, bust it out. Yeah, do that that way. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, you got to tell me. God. Mm-hmm. So, this ain't going to get no realer than the first time eating on the podcast. Yeah, we keeping this shit trill. Because, look, I ain't going to lie. Right now, if they don't know... We in Atlanta, Georgia, mm-hmm. but I'm a Virginia nigga. You a Baltimore nigga. Mm-hmm. In real life, nigga was taking them trips, bro, for years, bro. I've been taking them, and that shit gonna be loud as hell. I'm chopping it in. You, see, yeah. you, <laughs> you put that shit away. Uh, you but know better. You know better. In real life, a nigga was really taking them trips, bro, for a minute. I'm talking about every weekend. Every weekend, like I'm. Hey, I'm tell you some funny shit. I'm telling you some real from shit. From Virginia to Atlanta. No, nigga from Virginia to Baltimore, from North of Virginia to Baltimore. My wow. first ever placement was a was a guy by the name of NOE. He had me on, I don't know if you know the street, Fulton Street. Fulton yeah, Street. Yeah. And yeah. The nigga had me on Fulton Street in Baltimore. I was 17 years old. I piled niggas up in my Mazda, my second ever car. I bought that shit cash. My second ever car was geeked on that. Mm. I'm 17 years old. I made a song for NOE. He was signed to Bird Gang. He had a, we getting Bird Gang money. And we jumped in my car and we drove to Baltimore. Nigga had me in the trenches in Baltimore at 17. I'm running through that shit. Like, Baltimore got, like, a special place in my heart, even though I was like, yeah, after that shit, I ain't going back. But I fuck with it, though. <laughs> it's still love. I fuck with Baltimore. I was just like, yeah, all right, this shit too real. Catch me at the Inner Harbor. You feel me? Fact. <laughs> I'm lie to you. Fact. No cap. I'm gonna lie to you. Fact. No cap. I'm gonna lie to you. Catch me in the motherfucking, uh... Uh, I don't even know. In Maryland Live or some the, shit. Uh, what, up, um, yeah, I go up. I go up. I go to the casino. We do it that way. Um, nah, I don't got it. So I was asking you that because P.B. Longway, I feel like he's super plugged. Like, he's somebody that got real stain. Right. But you said currency. That's another one. Facts. He got, he got real stain. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious then because, like, it ain't like you you doing it with nobody's. Yeah, facts. What you think the holdup is? Get that chicken um, off your, uh, I think it's on your, on your oh butt. yeah, yeah, make sure you look good, yeah, bro. Yeah, facts, facts, I appreciate that. That nigga, that nigga Jay Hill, crazy. No, I got you, bro. That nigga said, damn, bro, so you did the record with Currency, like, why you still ain't popping, nigga? Who, like, <laughs> nah, who, the fuck, who the fuck is you? Nah, you no, 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 no. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, hold on. Let's get nah, 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 nah. That's what you're saying, though. You're like, what's the hold up? What, a little bit, what, a little bit, a little bit. But now I got to hit you the Drewski. What do you mean by that? Um, mm-hmm. You popping to the niggas that know. Facts. It's different. So I feel like. How can I say this? Say it right. I'm going to grab another piece of chicken while you do it. No, that shit hitting. That I ain't going to lie. He said a piece of chicken for everybody. It took the biggest one. I don't no. even, I can't even do that on camera. Shit. I ain't going I ain't going to violate you like that. Me. Like, give me a tender or something. Give me something I could just bite. I don't want to goddamn be sitting here with bones and some old shit. Real nigga activity. Real, real nigga activity. I'm taking that bitch shit. later. You shitting on you shitting me. Oh, God in heaven. All right, so. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to ask you. What, what I mean by that is. Cause I feel like this, like you said, smoking mirrors, and I know we're joking, but let's let's be serious for a quick second, though. Mm-hmm. Let's not get get messed up. I feel like a lot of people get in the game messed up when about who is popping, who not, because everything that glitter ain't gold. We know that, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody like you is super lit <clears throat> because of the respect that can come from it, right? You might not be the most popular, mm-hmm. but people know you, mm-hmm. and people that matter know you. But even when when you say when you say a, a currency, people that know rap respect currency. Yeah, right. And like so, like that ain't nothing. To, yeah, you might if you if you somebody that's that don't know music, maybe you be like who is currency. But people that 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 matter in music know currency brings bars. He's really good. And even even with what you saying, bro, I don't take no offense to it. Like I'm I'm really joking when I say it because I kind of feel the same way because not only did it, I do the project with Currency, I did a project with 24 Hours. I toured the whole entire world with Lex Luger. I toured the whole entire world with OG Mako. I was living in Paris. I was living in Shanghai, China. I toured Japan. Are you ain't every got flex sing- like that, bro. Nah, no, but I, no, but look, this is the problem because I have to because of the point you just made, which is like, it's something I ask myself too. It's just like, bro... I know I did a lot more than a lot of niggas in this shit. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I'm not a dick eater. Mm. And I feel like that be the problem. It be like certain little shit where it's like, mm, if I did that, that'll take me to probably that next level where I need to go. But I just, I got morals, bro. Mm. And a lot of people that's on top is dick eaters. So that's why they where they at. And outside of that, bro, I don't know. I ain't really got an answer for you for that. And it, it it's kind of fucked up. And sometimes it even fucked me up, bro. Sometimes I get down on it like, God damn, bro. I really, like, we niggas really put in work in this shit, bro. Like, for real, for real work. So, so it's really different. Because even me, I got to check myself. When you get in those down spots, nigga, what more do you want? What are you looking for? When you when you thinking, when you looking at yourself like, man, why I ain't at the next level or whatever that look like to you? What is that? Damn. That's a good question. Hey, play on your gratitude. Because you look back 10, 10 years ago, you like, you wish you would be here. That's a fact. Oh, y'all want the chicken? That's what y'all trying to say? Just ask for the chicken. <laughs> God damn. Don't stop the show, well, you got number 10 or something, nigga? Like, that's that. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Trade the box. Nigga, be careful. Be careful. My bad. Nah, but that, yeah, see, it's different. Yeah, <laughs> put, nigga, put it like that. <laughs> Fuck you, goes. Yeah, nah, it's a fact, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, it's just levels to this shit. You know what I mean? And I think the only person, the only people that can really relate to that is like other producers. Mm. You know what I mean? A producer, a producer, know when it's real levels to this shit. I'll give you an example. One of my first placements was with ASAP Rocky and Pharrell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I did a rec- I did a record with ASAP Rocky and Pharrell, bro, and I'm from Virginia. Pharrell was on the hook. That shit was monumental to me. That same year, Pharrell did Young Nigga Move That Dope with Future. Mm. That song went up. That song went platinum, 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 whatever the fuck it went. You feel what I'm saying? The record that I did with him, it never came out. It ended up getting leaked. So it was a SoundCloud leak. Mm. So parts of the game, bro, I be telling people it's it's fate and faith, bro. You got to have faith in it, but then it's fate. Like, whatever's going to happen, going to happen because who's to say, like, that year, bro was, bro did happy that year. Happy was going crazy. Um, That young nigga moved that dope was going crazy. Like, everything that he got on the hook for was going crazy. So I'm like, oh, I got him on the hook. I'm out of here. You see what I'm saying? 
But the song didn't come out on the album. The song just ended up being elite. Some people caught on to it. Some people didn't catch on to it. So I didn't get my just due for that. So it's a lot of little situations like that that happen, and it's like, there's nothing I can do on my part for that. I don't have no control of that. It's like you just got to keep on playing the game. No, no, no. Pass the chicken now. Yeah, that shit's ask, good ask, ask, <laughs> I, I need you to answer this question because you ain't answering my question. All right. Where we what, at with it? I said, what else would you want, nigga? Looking at where you at now, right? And we talk about this next level. Mm -hmm. What What is that? Like, what do you get down about? What Like, what can you even get down about? For real, to be honest. Um, Go ahead and make some bullshit up. <laughs> It ain't that, it's not so much the accolades, bro. It's really like, man, y'all folks really got a goddamn, like, we got to stand on business with this shit, man. Ooh, ooh. You feel what I'm saying? Ooh. Like, what, what folks? The, like, just, just, it's just what it is, bro. Like, just in a whole, like, we got to stand on business about this shit because at the end of the day, bro, it's like a nigga did records for all these people, but I still feel like it's still not. It's still not like known, bro. It still gotta be understood. Like, ah, right, yeah, we wanna get you, we wanna get a record, like we gonna call this person, we just call them. Nigga, call me. Mm. Y'all ain't calling me for that. I still get the shit out the mud, bro. Everything I did in my career, nigga, I did this shit with no manager. I did this shit with no help, nigga. I've been doing this shit since I was 13, 14 years old with no help. I did everything by myself. You feel what I'm saying? I always got that shit out the mud. So that's why it's like. That's why I work with a chip on my shoulder, bro. That's why I. That's why by the time this come out, that's why I say the Pee Wee Long Way, who am I take that they listening to is completely produced and engineered and recorded and mixed in the whole nine by Kino because I actually put in work, bro. And you deserve so it. So just give me my just due. You that's get your, all. You get your just due. How? Hold up, man. You Tell it. Yeah, how? I, got, I got a sound bite. You fucking it up. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you said all of that shit. Right. 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 But guess what? Mm -hmm. Nigga, get some help. Nigga, get a manager. Like, I feel like, because I'm just like you. Mm -hmm. And I might be, I'm, we joking again, and we playing devil's advocate, but I'm just like you. But when I get, when you, sometimes it's different when you get to see yourself, and you're like, okay. Right? So, like, right. now I got certain things I can say when it's like, oh, that's me. I say it to say, because I pride myself in self-made. Doing it without, I'm doing, I'm doing way more with so much less. But guess what? Imagine if I just put the work in to get more, to get to get more. I would, I would be doing even more. I said it, I said like, cause like, yeah, you said I did it all without a manager. So if you was that special with a without a manager, imagine if you had a manager. You right. said I did it all without nobody, without a team, and nobody helped me. Damn. So imagine if you had a team and somebody helped me. Facts. Right. So it's like I get what you're saying, but what does that prove when we talk? We talk about artists and having uh writers, right? Yeah. It don't matter. As right. long as you get there. And then we turn around and we're doing the same exact thing. It don't matter Facts. as long as we get there. But it's like we intentionally set ourselves back because uh, uh, I think it's just where we come from. And the, it's, it's in our veins. It's like, nah, I don't need nobody niggas for shit. We don't. But it's like, it's niggas out there who get help. Yeah, facts. You know how you want, you know how you, you, you feel like you don't need some shit? And, excuse me, when you don't need some shit, it ain't. That's when everybody trying to get it to you. Mm -hmm. And then when you like, damn, I wouldn't mind doing that. That's when it ain't available. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's me putting you down. <laughs> so that's like, that's what it is. Cause I went, I went years with that mentality, but I was hard headed. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I owned that up to myself. Like, yeah, all right, yeah, fuck everybody. I'm doing this shit how I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And then when I opened my mind up to it, like, yeah, let me get some help. You know what I mean? That's when it came. And around this time, you know what I mean? I got some good people in my corner that's, you know, that's assisting me right now as it goes. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different when you're in that actual, that actual, the, the, the peak of actually striving for the shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing when you, when you kind of like already did it. Cause you come in there like no matter how it is, no matter how humble you is or whatever, you still dragging your nuts. You like nigga, I already did this shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you trying to? You know what I mean? So I just I like to hear it, bro. I love to hear the stories of the nigga that came in and they had a right hand man's that was like, nah, bro, you you sit in the car, bro. I'ma go in here and we'll do whoop de whoop. Like that shit is amazing. And I love that. So that's my whole point with even bringing that shit up is 
I just didn't have that. Mm. I did everything myself. I pulled up the concerts and connected the dots, nigga. Every placement I got with anybody, nigga, I put them dots together or it was somebody I fucked with on some, like, a tight level that was like, hey, bro, like, work, walk that in for me. You know what I'm, I'm glad saying? you said that. We're going to get into the tape with uh, you and PB Longway, right? Yeah, facts. I'm curious. What you think about um, Friday? The movie? Nah. The, the artist. I... Friday, I fucking love Friday music, bro. That's my I, shit. I ask that because I feel like what you just said, I mm -hmm. feel like he's had a story about how he used to pull up to the yeah. concerts with his piano. Yeah, facts. Right? And like, he used to just pull up hoping he would get somebody to facts. listen to him. And when you said that, it like it took me back. And I feel like those are the, the stories that people need to hear because it don't happen like the other side a lot. You right, might right. see it. Right. right, but what happened is the pe time you see it, they blow up so big. It's like, man, why can't I be like that? But most of the exactly. people was pulling up with their laptop, trying to get a placement like you, right. pulling up with their piano in their hand like Friday. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, you need to hear and that. that's what goes back to my two Fs, bro. That's why I said it's fate and faith, bro. Mm. You gotta have faith in what you're doing, but fate gonna let you know how it work out, bro. Mm. You can't really some shit you you can't really control bro you could you could hone your craft and you could be as good as you want to be with your craft but there's no telling where your craft really going to take you cuz he could have been as good as he wanted to be he could have been doing the same shit but his shit might just it might not have just caught for whatever reason and then for him it caught not i just seen him what a, a couple of months ago in LA and i just i just had to salute him bro i'm like bro you you doing your shit and then when and that it was do, it when it catch right it makes it so much better because it, it makes it so much better. It ain't like your none. Of, it ain't like your songs. Your, your catalog not gonna be there. So when it catch, they gonna go back like, in. Oh nah, oh nah. Because if I hear when I hear somebody like um, just using him as an example, when I hear somebody like a Friday, I'm like, damn, I fuck with this shit. It's so much raw talent. I just want to work with you regardless. Mm. But when I see him and we have a conversation and we exchange numbers, I'm like, man, what you doing tomorrow night? I got the studio. And he like, yeah, bro, I'm going to hit you. And then tomorrow night come, and it's the fucking Grammys, and you performing with Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, and whoever the fuck. I'm like, oh, I don't think he pulling up tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just is. So it's just, it's fate and faith, bro. You mm. know what I mean? Like, and that's blessings to him and his career. Like, it just, that's just how it go, bro. Nah, facts. Ain't no control over that. So how did you land this? I mean, we talk about all this, this chip on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't really seeing this. But then, boom, you got the tape with Pee Wee Longway. So somebody seeing you, nigga. Yeah, nah, that, but that come back to, and see, now you making me sound like a narcissist when I say the story behind this. But it really come back to, like, my mindset of shit. I feel like... My biggest mindset with shit is if you make somebody money and you're doing shit in the game, like we all we all playing the game for keeps. You feel mm. what I'm saying? But this is a business at the end of the day. So we all trying to figure out, all right, cool. I know I got this, I got this, but how are we going to make our next dollar? And that's the game. So I always utilize that. And when it came the long way, that's kind of how I utilized it. I said, look, I had a feature opportunity for him and... I got the feature done for him. I pulled up to him and I'm like, yo, bro, I got this feature for you to do. Mm. And he was like, all right, come on, let's knock it out. And after we knocked out the feature, he like, shit, you ain't got no more beats? Load some more shit up. Mm. And loaded some more shit up. He was fucking with it. So we did, um, shit, by the time they hear this, it'll be out. So we did the song Georgia Dome. We did Georgia Dome that night. And then he had me come through the next night. Came through the next night. We did another song called Don Julio. And then after that, we kind of took like a little break. I ain't seen him for a little bit. That's when I went to New Orleans, did the currency shit. That's when I did went around and did a whole bunch of other shit. And then after that, we ended up doing the whole project. Mm. So that's kind of how it panned out. But I feel like I, it's not to say that we built a real bond and we built a real relationship. But the start of the relationship was me hitting his phone like, hey, bro, I got, I got some for paper you. for you. Fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, you know, I, don't, I ain't know him from a can of paint. He know me from a can of paint. Like, I met him fucking... Eight, nine years ago. Funny enough, I, when I first came to Atlanta, I played some beats for him, and he like, yeah, shit, what you finna do, bro? Where you from? Are oh, you from Virginia? Hell yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, shit. What you finna do, though? Mm. While I'm playing beats. He won't fucking with the beats. That was years ago. So it went from however many years ago, you not fucking with my beats to now, and we got a whole project together. So how does this work? So because I seen you play the uh, the single, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just him, of course. Mm -hmm. But when it's the project, 
it belongs to you or is it how does the the business work? Behind I so the, the business with it is it could go a couple of ways. When I did the um when I did the currency project, that was currency X Kino Beats. So okay. that was like a that was an artist artist project. Is I was labeled as an artist on that project. With this project is Pee Wee Longway as the artist, but I'm the executive producer on the project. You get what I'm saying? What does that mean? Um, it just means that I constructed everything, like everything anybody hearing on the project. I created the track list. I created the the um, the titles for the songs. I produced all the records. Uh, shout out to Little Mister. He did Back to the Trapping, which is six. Um, and I really constructed it, but. It just goes different, you know. That's when that's when the the like you said earlier, the intricacies of uh, how shit go. Like that's to go with, with however his situation goes. Whether he has to put out another um, project as him as an artist versus having to collab. You got what I'm saying? Okay. So, but this this doesn't belong to you. This is a, this is a Pee Wee Longway project. Okay. And in the future, and in the future, we're we're in talks about. In the future, we we will probably do a Pee Wee Longway Kino Beats project. Okay, but this project right here is a Pee Wee Longway project, which is like, it's like a, uh, it's a bittersweet thing, and maybe not even bittersweet is the word. Maybe it's a gift and a curse because it's kind of a good sign because it's like him hearing the project back and like, hey Kino, I fuck with you, but I ain't dropping a minute and. I want this to be my shit. Yeah, like I'm yeah, standing yeah, on yeah. this. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, all right, you you standing on. I'm standing on this so much that nigga, I want I'm, it. Yeah, I want it. I ain't mad at that. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is all Kino beats, and this is all your beats, and thank you. But I need and that. it's great. But I need it. Yeah, I you know what I'm that. saying? Yeah, and yeah. me as a producer is like, I can't do nothing but respect it. Fact, you know what I'm saying? Salute. Like, that's a salute. It, yeah, it's it's it'll be great. Like in my in my um mind, like I would love for it to be a Pee Wee Longway Kino beats tape. But for you to stand on business and say, like, nah, bro, I want this shit to be Pee Wee Longway. Like, I want this to be my album. It's it's a it's a it's it's something to put in the um in the books, bro. It's a milestone. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah, that whole album right there, yeah, I did that whole album. No, that's hard. You know what I mean? So you think like, do you think you will ever try to do the I don't wanna say DJ Khaled route, right? right? Or or like just have something a body of work that's yours where a different artists and shit? I just I just did that. I just did that, but I did it on some bully shit. So I um I did a I did a Kino Beats project. It's called Live from the Casino. Um, I, Live from the Casino. I'm mixing up the 24 hour shit. It's called Live from the Cinema, actually. And with Live from the Cinema, I um I have records with Fujiano. I got records with CEO Trail. I got mm. records with Duke Deuce. Um, That's hard. And I took that. I got All Star Jr. from Detroit. That's hard. And I took that. And I did a. I did an EP with that. You feel what I'm saying? So I try to roll those different things out. But that's where you come with the little mix of. Do you want to make yourself bigger as a personality? You know what I mean? Because it's like I could drop stuff like that, but if you don't know me as a person or personality, it's like we not tapped into it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's but just you like, don't get some. You don't. You don't get some plays from their audience though. That don't work. Yeah, for sure. Cause sure. like the people you name, they not like super big artists, but yeah, but most they got, of them are interviews. But streams. they got yeah, 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 yeah. So that's I mean that's the cool part about it. You know what I mean? So it, like it catch some it catch some streams, it catch some streams. But again, we talked about levels, and there's levels to it. You just said DJ Khaled when Khaled drop is, you know what I mean? Mm, but so, you got to start somewhere though. There you I would go. assume. There you go. Cause CEO Trail, All Star Jr, mm -hmm. Duke Deuce, mm -hmm. shit. Them guys are like. Up there, and I got spit on the project too. I got a record with currency on the yeah, project see, as well. That's, yeah, so it's that's not yeah. little boy shit though. No, no, no. It's it's for sure. It's for sure heavy. And I but did when that. you looking at the greats, it's like I, I see myself as one of them. So yeah. I can, I can see it. There I you understand. go. Yeah. There you go. So for the niggas back home, we're like this shit is crazy. Yeah, but for exactly. you, it's like. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. You I popping it. off, but you look at academics and you, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I get it. Yeah, yeah. you're right. You hundred percent. Because I do look at that like, yeah. Nah, this I know my shit. You feel I, me? Nah, you're right. I swear to God. I mean, I look at we Joe Budden shit on like business. I look at Joe Budden <laughs> shit like, man, my shit man. way harder than that shit. We talking real shit yeah, too. Yeah, like, nigga, like really, nigga, we really come from that. So. Yeah, yeah. Nah, facts, man. Oh, this man. shit was hard, bro. Oh, so shit. Um, name of the project. Let's get all the um. So right now, shit, by the time they seeing this is out, we talking about Pee Wee Longway, Who Am I, Completely Produced, Engineered, The Whole Shebang, That's By Me. You could chop that up and check that shit out. Um, Kino Beats, Live From The Cinema, that's out right now as well. 
and it's so much more coming, bro. You gonna start popping out more, like yeah, yeah. I'm about, I'm about to get on that little run, bro. I be like, I be trying to like, I be, I, I go through my little modes where I'm just like, bro, I just want to be in a studio, but I'm like, nah, you know, it make more sense to just come outside and so wear my you. fucking dark glasses at nighttime and shit like that. Throwing yeah. some, you got me wearing in. a fucking, you feel me, like shit. yeah, this shit like, hurt my goddamn uh, man. I'm talking about what? So <laughs> <laughs> this shit hurt. God damn. So it's like yeah, bro. You it's just this pop out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. So no, we gonna come outside and just do little shit, bro. It's like. I just feel like it, it's, it's time for it, bro. It's just like you said, bro. You said a key point. Just like, yeah, so like what you want? You know what I mean? So mm. it's, it's just time to really just hone this shit, especially like, you know what I mean? Like, And it helps though, sure. bro. Like, yeah. it, I'm pretty sure you know this, but like, um, because I'm, bro, when I say I'm just like you, I don't fuck with nobody. Now I don't need to go out, bro. I get my interviews from chilling, so I don't need to mm. go out, right? Yeah, facts. But I think I went out um a few times. And that's how I landed the uh, the 19 Keys interview. I wanted that one. And it was another one, but it was, it just showed me that, bro. <sighs> yeah, you might have to go out. Yeah, <laughs> like facts. Showed, yeah, yeah, you might gotta go Facts. Because if you can get this while not going out, why not get this and this? And this. Yeah, you so. know what I'm saying? Everything start with Virginia, bro. And mm -hmm. I'm going to just keep on saying it, bro. I'll leave you with one story because I feel like you're doing your signing out shit. Nah, so go ahead, you do. Go ahead, go ahead. nah but it just it just made me think about like one of the main reasons why I even got into like DJing and shit. I went to the club one night right after I had um I had produced a record for Jeezy when Jeezy was like super hot. I did a record for Jeezy and I got to the front door and it was like, oh yeah, uh hey, hey, uh you you uh uh with that black hat, bro, uh it's gonna be a hundred. Mm -hmm. I'm like, a hundred? Nigga, I just produced the song. This nigga finna come and rap. And that day right there, I said, nah, bro. I ain't never gonna let a nigga play me like that again. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we just standing on business, bro. So, I mean, I just, yeah, that's right. I, I get it. That's just a part of the game, though. Yeah, facts. That's and it come with it. And it come with maturity. It come with maturity and this shit to understand, like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's business. It's woo -woo -woo. But at the end of the day, yo, our face card just in life of this shit is it needs to be to that where it doesn't like that's not supposed to happen bro yeah. it's not supposed to happen because you're going to tell me that but then you'll see the little bad bitch that you think is cute and just be like come on nah bro like the shit that y'all finna be in here jamming it's like my that's shit. my shit facts nigga I ain't saying this shit ain't gonna work without me, but I know when my shit drop y'all gonna be in here vibing nah, facts. and you got me outside looking crazy nah so now I gotta sit here and make the phone call and do all the whoopy whoop to get it. No, I shouldn't have to do that, bro. You should you should look at me and be like, oh nah, bro, that's bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's crazy it's like, because right, that's, that's, what's, that's what's going that's what's gonna get you there. And me, like, cause I always ask people about that chip on your shoulder. Yeah. And I feel like the chip on your shoulder, the one that you got, the one that I got, I feel like that's the that's the shit that keep a nigga motivated when nobody Facts. else do. Like I don't need nobody else to motivate. To tell me, me shit. Cause yeah. I got it. Right, right, right. Cause I'm like, fuck y'all niggas. What Drake said? Nigga went and bought a house when he could have bought a verse. Nigga's dumb as fuck. That's how I feel. Facts. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Nigga could have bought a beat. He went and got a car. Come on. Nigga, fuck your responsibilities. Come on, <laughs> That's man. That's how I feel, Hell, bro. bro. <laughs> you want to go get a car? Nigga, you stupid as hell. Oh, Nigga, God. this could have got you two of them yeah, off. Oh, God. You bullshit. <laughs> nah, facts. Oh, God. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. This is good, nah, bro. For this sure, is, for sure. This is unexpectedly good. Like, we broke bread. It's my first time ever break, breaking yeah, bread. Yeah, yeah, I know. Man, yeah, real pop eyes, man. We just kept this shit straight to the roots, man. Nah, facts, man. Tell the people how to follow you and all the lock in all that. Beats, man. K I N O Beats on everything, man. Instagram. They goddamn hacked my Twitter, so I got a new one, whatever, X, whatever the fuck it is. But everything is Kino Beats, man. Nah, this Kino shit was Beats, good, man. tune in, go on Apple Music, Spotify, it's Kino Beats, man. My guy, J-Hill, Mr. J-Hill Podcast, this is a wrap. We out.